So the last idea I want to talk about is this concept of uh, what we call the with command. Now, uh, as you can see, sort of first before I even talk about the with command, I, I want to kind of jump back to thinking about how we use uh, looping in Python, right? So the idea is that we started with this idea of a while loop. And the big thing about the while loop was, you know, we had to create this sentinel value, this, this I that is effectively going to have to then control that while loop. And at the very end, you know, we had to make sure that we m went through and iterated that I uh, so we could continue to have the loop run, in this case, 10 times. So there were a lot of steps. Notice that, you know, I'm indicating like three particular spots that you had to focus in uh, on your code. And what we then introduced was this idea of the for loop. And you can almost imagine uh, what the for loop does is it takes all of those uh, individual parts, right, of the while, of how the file, uh, yeah, how the while loop works. It It's doing, for example, this uh, I starting at zero. In our case, uh, we're going to give a value to I. We're saying as long as this uh, conditional uh, is running, as long as I is less than 10, continue to run, we're doing a similar approach now with a list. The range uh, function is creating uh, a little list of numbers for us to iterate through. And since that range function does, you know, it does 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? I is going to be starting with 0, then it's going to become 1, then it's going to become a 2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So suddenly the, while, the for loop is sort of a condensed version of the while loop. The same thing can happen with our with keyword. The idea is if we look at file handling, right, we've got first this concept where I have to add uh, a variable and I have to uh, open it up. And that's, you know, again, I need to do that. That's uh, creating an object that I can then do my reads from. Uh, same kind of thing going on here. Uh, I would then have to use some keyword or some command to extract out the values from that file. And in my case, I'm saving it to contents. But the last little bit there is I have a final line where I have to make sure that I close the file after I'm done. Because again, uh, as we'll get into, that can become a big issue. And we want to make sure that once we open a file, we close it. Now, this with command right here. By having the with command, what we're actually saying is a similar approach to, again, the for loop. With this object being named five, right? Now we've effectively said, okay, I'm going to tab in right here. I'm going to tab in and everything that's inside of this uh, indentation, this little block, it's going to be treated as if the uh, that file that we're working off of has been opened, is ready to be read, and we're going to refer to that file as five. So we can take a look at this, uh, actually. If we took a look at, say, some of the code that we've been working off of uh, thus far, right? Let's say, for example, let's uh, take out and let's do the same thing with what we're doing with lines six through nine. The big factor would be all I'm doing is I'm going to come in, remove out that phi.close. Again, with commands, automatically do that for us. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of tweaking so that with open file name r as phi and then content gets tabbed inward and so again if i run this no errors are going on except for driver updates uh, same kind of concept can go on when i then work off of my write file so i could come in and do the same structure with open my output phi as w or as uh, 
output phi writing as phi. And then all of these lines of code, go ahead and tab them in, and I don't need that phi.close anymore. And so, as you can see, I, I go through, I run it, and we're not seeing any errors because, again, what we're doing is we're writing to a particular file. But the reason behind this is, again, it's, uh, it's one, the recommended way to uh, handle files inside of the Python community, and two, uh, again, it, it helps start to reduce down all of the, the, the work you have to do. I no longer have to have a close command in my code, it's already sort of implied with our with statements.